Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Welcome to the tutorial on data pricing from economics to data science. I'm Jen Pei from Simon Fraser University, Canada. It is well recognized that data are invaluable. How we can assess the value of data objectively and quantitatively? Pricing data or information goods in general has been studied and practiced in dispersed areas and principles, such as economics, data management and data mining, electronic commerce, and marketing. In this tutorial, we will present a unified and comprehensive overview of this important direction. We will examine various motivations behind data pricing understand the economics of data pricing, review the development and evolution of pricing models, and compare the proposals of marketplaces of data. We cover both digital products such as ebooks and MP3 music and data products such as data sets and data queries. Last, we will also discuss a series of challenges and directions for future work. Let's move on to introduction. In this digital economic era, data are well recognized as an essential resource for work and life. Many products and services are delivered purely in digital forms. Many big data applications are built on the, the second use or reuse of data. That is, the same data are customized and reused by many applications for different purposes. The extensive sharing and reusing data has profound implications to economy. For example, digital maps are often produced for traffic and directions as the immediate usage. However, Studies find that mining activities, particularly by smaller firms with less resources, were strongly benefited by open maps or maps sponsored by governments. Universal availability of data often helps minority parties and emerging initiatives. In business and economic activities, where data are shared, exchanged, and reused. It is essential to measure the value of data properly. While there are many possible ways to appreciate and represent the value of data, a general approach that can be scalable for massive applications and acceptable to many parties is to set a price at which data can be sold or purchased. That is data pricing. The importance of price in business is well recognized in financial modeling as price being one of the four P's in the marketing mix. Pricing data is far from trivial. Data have many different aspects. Consequently, the term price of data may carry different meanings and refer to different properties of data. To illustrate the complexity, let's quickly consider the following three scenarios involving data price information related to data. First, the scenario of data transmission. A mobile service provider may offer a smartphone user the price of its data package. Here, the price is coded for the data transmission service and is decided by several factors, such as the amount of data the user wants to transmit in a month time, the location, and the transmission speed. For location, we may mean it is roaming or not, for example. The price does not include 
and is independent from the content. That is what the data are about, such as data quality and how the data are covered, stored, or processed. In the second scenario, let's consider digital products. A person wants to watch a movie at home. This is a purchase of data. Since the movie is sent to the customer's home as a stream of bits. The price here typically is related to the content, but is independent from the data transmission service. That is how the data are transmitted to the user's home. As the third scenario, let's consider data products. Many logistic companies want to pay for weather information to support their business operations. While historical data are relevant, more often than not, those companies want to subscribe to weather forecasting information instead. Some companies may want weather predictions at a higher granularity where, while some may want detailed predictions at specific locations. Moreover, some may want long-term predictions, while some others may want the short-term predictions. Here, predictions are sold as data products. The above three cases just elaborate some representative scenarios where data prices are used and are by no means exhaustive. To appreciate data pricing, including ideas, principles, and methods, we have to take an interdisciplinary approach from multiple areas, such as economics and computation, so that they can be uh, two most important areas. Indeed, the studies and practice of data pricing started as early as the dawn of digital economics and are highly diversified and rich in innovative thinking. In this tutorial, we try to present a comprehensive survey on data pricing, an emerging research and practice area that plays a more and more important role in the current digital economic era. Our survey is highly related to the current strong rising of data science. To a large extent, data pricing is an overdue pillar in data science research and practice. Data and information as goods discussed in this survey are those that are distributed purely in digital form. We will focus on two categories of the most interest, pricing digital products and pricing data products. We will demonstrate um, our discussion by the aforementioned scenarios. In this tutorial, digital products refer to those intangible goods that can be consumed through electronics, such as ebooks, downloadable music, online advertisements, and internet coupons. Many digital products have physical correspondence in one way or the another, though not absolutely necessary. Data products refer to data sets as products and information services derived from data sets. We build the linkage between these two categories by pointing out many ideas and methods on um, pricing digital products can be generalized and applied to pricing data products. Hereafter, we use the term information goods to refer to both digital products and data products in the changer brief. We will also briefly review cloud pricing if time permits. 
which will cover the basic ideas in the data transmission service scenario. We will take a multidisciplinary approach in this tutorial. The rest of the tutorial is organized as follows. In section two, we will start from economics and focus on two aspects, the cost reduction in information goods that contributes to their prices and has impact on economics. Then we discuss the differences between digital products and data products. In section three, we will discuss the foundation principles of data pricing. We first present versioning as a general framework for pricing information goods. Then we identify several desirable properties in data pricing, including truth uh, for this, fairness, revenue maximization, arbitrage freeness, privacy preservation, and computational efficiency. In section four, we will discuss pricing digital products. We first reviewed the three major streams of revenues for digital products. Then we visit the bundling and subscription planning pricing models. Last, we consider auctions, which are widely used in pricing digital products. In section five, we discuss pricing data products. We first overview the structures, players, and ways to produce data products in data marketplaces. Then we examine several important areas in pricing data products, including arbitrage-free pricing, revenue maximization pricing, and fair and truthful lease pricing. We also discuss how to price dynamic data and online pricing. This wraps up the introduction. Thank you.